The boss, are you ready to go out on patrol yet? Huh, well, I'm not sure yet, Douglas. Duh, what's wrong? Duh, did Trevor take your lunch again? That's been him? No, Douglas, it's, um... Well, Christmas is coming up. Oh, that's right, boss, my favorite time of year. And I wanted to get something special for my mother this year. Duh, that's beautiful, boss. You know, when I was a kid, there was something that she wanted more than anything else in the world. And, well, because we didn't have much money, she was never able to buy it. And, well, I thought that this Christmas, I'd make it really special for her and finally get it. Oh, boss. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is it's so expensive. I looked up what they were online, and I can't afford that on my current salary. Oh, I just don't know where I'm going to get the money. Well, have you thought about taking any bribes? What? Of course not, Douglas! No, of course not. Uh, me neither, boss. But, uh, I don't know. I guess it is kind of an option. Uh, well, boss, you could always get a second job. Huh. A second job? Another role to help make this city safer? Uh, well, um, I guess so. Hmm, what could I be? I could be a stuntman! Duh, I might lower my goals if I were you, boss. You're right, you're right. Don't start at the top. Gotta work my way up. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I could be a Santa Claus in one of the parades. Uh, I think I might go lower, boss. Huh. Well, what else is there? Duh, maybe you could always talk to Charlie. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Why, Carl? I'm flattered you thought of coming to me as you tried to get out of the nightmarish life known as poverty. Well, I wouldn't exactly put it that way, but, uh, thanks for meeting with me, Charlie. So you want to work for me? Hmm. Well, do you have any idea of what you would like to do? Well, being a cop is in my blood, and, well, I was thinking I would love to find a way to still protect my community. So, I was wondering if, for the holiday season, I could be a security guard for you. Hmm. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm afraid that we've already hired all the security guard positions. Well, one place I did have in mind was Shopping Land. Shopping Land? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I had someone burn that place down for the insurance money. Uh, no. Uh, Shopping Land is still around. Um... There was a value world that you owned that I remember burned down under mysterious circumstances. Ah, <laughs> right, right, right. No, Shopping Land still has one or two stores still running, and it has the DMV. There's really nothing of value in that mall worth stealing, but I guess since you're a friend, we can make something happen. Great, thanks, Charlie. I'll get to work right away. Lovely. And if that doesn't work, I do have a few other businesses that I would like to collect the insurance money from. Alright, time to clock in. Oh boy, I wonder what the first crime I'll solve as a mall security guard will be. So, uh, do you guys got the stuff? <laughs> do we got the stuff? You tell me! 24 counterfeit candy canes! Oh boy, Merry Christmas indeed to me. So, uh... Does this stuff really work? <laughs> Does it really work? Why don't I have my assistant tell you all about it? <laughs> we made them ourselves. Instead of making them out of sugar, we made them out of salt. <laughs> One lick of that candy cane, and they'll be disgusted by that salty taste. <laughs> It's the perfect holiday gift for those you despise. <laughs> and make sure to take pictures of their funny faces. <laughs> That's why I got into this industry. What have we here? Trying to buy counterfeit candy canes, are we? Uh, no, no. I was just a curious individual. I didn't make any purchases of illegal candy canes. Uh, you ain't got nothing on me, copper. I'm just an innocent individual trying to buy Christmas presents. Uh, uh, good day to you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, officer. <laughs> Always nice to see my favorite cop this time of year. Oh, wait, where's the dog? Now he's my favorite cop. <laughs> uh, you're kind of in the top 15. 
Ah, now you know the only ones licensed to sell candy canes in this mall is the Sweet Tooth Candy Store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I was gonna get a license, but, <laughs> you know, holidays, everything backed up. Uh-huh. Now listen, I'm the security guard of this mall from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. And as long as I'm watching over this mall, there will be no counterfeit candy cane sold. Do you understand? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, officer. <laughs> Let's get going, Wally. Set your alarm, Wally. We'll have to start selling our candy canes from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. But, Dave, that's when the price is right, is on, And I need my shows. Otherwise, I go crazy. I really need to get a new business partner. Oh, boy. I get to guard one of the department stores today. Hey, Carl. Marty? I didn't know you got a seasonal Christmas job. Yeah. Actually, I thought if I got a job where Brenda worked, it might make it easier to find out what she wants for Christmas. Hey, guys. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Marty. Have you ever noticed how everything we sell here pretty much sucks? What? This has got to be the worst place to buy a Christmas present from. Aw, oh, crap. I don't really think that. I just want my Christmas present to be a surprise. Well, I'm going on my lunch break now. See you guys later. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, I've got to get going now. Busy, busy, busy. Did you see that? See what? Leroy the Lion just walked out of the store without paying for anything. Oh my, it's always the ones you least expect to be shoplifters. Stop right there, you criminal. Carl, wait. Stop right there. Oh. Carl, he's not a shoplifter. He paid for his purchases online earlier and was picking them up in the store. Paying online? Huh. You know, that sounds pretty convenient. Well, it was. Well, Carl, besides some notable hiccups, I've been quite impressed with your work. And so, because of all your hard work, and also because you're the only one available, I decided to give you the job that I know you've been waiting for. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? <gasps> wow, it is truly an honor to be your personal security guard, Santa Claus. Huh, I've been a fan of you ever since I was a little kid. Yeah, yeah, now here's the deal. Each little brat gets ten seconds to tell me what they want for Christmas. And if they start crying, you get them out of here. Yeah, if the little brats start complaining about what they didn't get for Christmas, just use a taser on them. Uh, I don't have a taser. Ugh, fine. I have one in my locker you can use if that's what it comes to. Oh boy, Santa Claus is here. Uh, hold it right there. Name? Um, Timothy the Turtle? Reason for visit? Um, to tell Santa Claus what I wanted? Hmm. I don't see you on the list, Timothy. Oh, come on, man. I see him every year at this mall. I really need to tell him what I want for Christmas, man. <sighs> Come on, Carl, you know me. Okay, Timothy, since we're friends, I'll let you go see him. Oh boy, thanks, man. This is gonna be great. It always feels great to help a friend around the Christmas season. <coughs> and a Merry Christmas to you too, you little brat. Next. Oh, it's so good to see you, Santa. Oh God, my leg, get off my lap, you fat idiot. Fired from being Santa Claus's security guard after only 15 minutes. What a day. Well, at least I can go home now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, uh, excuse me, officer. Uh, uh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, jeez. Um, I hope so. You see, I plan to see my family tonight to celebrate Christmas. And, oh, jeez, it looks like the last bus left for the night. Um, is there any way you can help me out? I mean, this is the only day I'd be able to see them. Huh. <sighs> yeah, sure. I'll give you a ride. My cop car's over here. Wait a minute. Um, where's your car? Oh no, did I forget to lock it again? Doug, Doug, are you there? Duh, hi, boss. You don't happen to have our patrol vehicle, do you? Yeah, I've got the patrol car with me right now. Whew, that's a relief. I really need it right now if you could bring it over. Uh, sorry, no can do, boss. Why's that? Do I brought it to the mechanic. They're going to add speakers on it so that when we fight crime, we can play the Batman theme. What? Are you serious? Which Batman theme is it? Duh, the Michael Keaton one. Oh, well, that is a good one. Okay, Doug, I'll try to think of something. Oh, no. Don't worry.
worry, I'll find a way to help you get home for Christmas. Hmm, let me think. Who do I know who can help us? Dan, Dan! Oh great, what do you want? Gonna send another person to injure the boss? You know, he's an even bigger jerk when he has to go to the hospital. There's a customer here who really needs to get home tonight to celebrate Christmas with his family. Oh, boo-hoo for him. And listen, uh, you pull Santa sleigh around the world in one night, so could you maybe help him out? Oh, no, no, no. What do I look like to you, an Uber driver? Oh, no. He's on his own. Besides, that's why he gets her celebrating Christmas on the 22nd. Well, you'd be really helping him out, and, uh, you know, since you'd be helping out a police officer, uh, maybe just this once, I could attach a siren to your harness. Really? Huh. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool to see them quickly get out of the way as you speed past them. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Great! Alright, you guys ready? I'm ready. How about you, bud? Oh yes, thank you for doing this for me. Alright, let's go! Okay, let's get this over with. Turn on the siren. Alright, here we go. You know, Dan, this is a really nice thing you're doing for this guy. Really in the Christmas spirit. Yeah, whatever. Shut up so I can just listen to the siren. Well, thanks, Dan. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll give you back the siren later. Oh boy, oh boy. I've been looking forward to this all day. Huh. Where is everybody? Six o'clock, just in time. The holiday tradition is back. You're watching The Best of the Office. That's the family we had to get back in time for you to see? Hey, when you've watched as many episodes and wrote as much fan fiction as I have, they feel like family. Coming up next, The Best of Season 8. Ah, oh, crap. Don't you have an actual family to see during the holidays? No, they're all on the other side of the world. Huh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, even if you don't have a biological family, it must be nice to have a work family like in this show. Huh, well, uh, what do you do? Well, it doesn't matter anymore. I just recently lost my job. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Well, you know, if you're looking for a work family around the holidays, I have an idea. Wow, look at me, a mall security guard. Yup, that's right. Your history in law enforcement really came in handy. And you know, if I couldn't be the one to be Santa Claus's security guard, I'm glad it's you. Oh wow, thanks. Hey man, do you think I can see Santa Claus? Uh, I'm sorry sir. I've been told not to let you see him. Aw oh, man, I'll give you 20 bucks if you let me go. 20 bucks? Oh, okay, go ahead. Thanks man. Say, uh... How did you get fired from being a cop? Oh, I got fired for taking bribes. Oh. See, this is what the holidays are all about. Making people happy. Oh, Santa, it's so good to see you again. Oh, God, my legs. Uh-oh. Duh, Merry Christmas, boss. Merry Christmas, Douglas. And to all of you, oh, man, it's so great to see you guys today. This has been a great Christmas so far. And what's even better, I was able to get that gift I wanted from my mother. So Carl, I've been meaning to ask, what's a special gift you got for your mother? Yeah, dude, I'd be curious too. Duh, what'd you get her, boss? Well, it took some hard work, but after all this time, I finally got my mother a fur coat. Duh, a fur coat? Ugh, are you serious, dude? Oh, Carl, do you even know how they make fur coats? What, some designer is able to come up with some very real-looking fake fur on a coat? Oh, she'll love it. I'm gonna call her up right now. Hello? Hi, Ma. Merry Christmas. Apparently not merry enough to visit the person who gave birth to you. Did you get the present I sent you? Oh, I did. I remembered you wanted one when I was a kid, and now you finally do. Well, a lot's changed since you were a kid. I went through three divorces, and I learned that fur is murder. What? That's right, son. You sent me a dead animal to wear as clothing. <gasps> That's where it's made from? Duh, we tried to tell you, boss. Maybe you are desensitized from your job, but normal people don't like being by dead bodies. 
Okay, I guess I'll return it and get you something else. It's too late for that now. What do you mean? I'm gonna burn it so that no other mother receives this evil as a gift. Mom, don't! I'll talk to you later, son. Huh, it was all for nothing. Um, better luck next year, boss?